I've never seen so many customs in my life. I'm basically <laughs> overwhelmed. Part one, we showcased a lot of great works that were custom figures, direct, shrunk down versions of people's cosplays at the Halo Championship Series Final. 24 of them. All organized by this absolute mad lad, this unhinged boy. Today, we're going to be showcasing one person's custom work. And through this series, we're going to be highlighting works from Ghost, Buster, Halo, Riot, Townie, and NSI. And while the future of Halo Mega as a brand does seem uncertain at times, it gives me hope seeing so many talented artists being able to sell their work and help fill the back catalogue of all the different pieces of armour that Mega have never produced. Buster is part of a four-person team on Dropshock prints and you can find all of their work on ko-fi.com. They are selling a ton of highly detailed, well-produced 3D printed parts, including this Mirage set. I really want to pick that up. And you can also contact them about commissions as well. It's important these days that we support and help prop up as many community members as possible, and particularly people that are producing all of these high quality prints and you can easily support them by purchasing any of their work. Links as always in the description down down below. Today we're starting with one of Strandy's personal friends, Buster. Um, really come a long way in the community over the last couple of years. And without further ado, let's check out his incredible work. We're gonna start with the familiar faces. We showed these off in part one and oh my goodness. It's Just so a pretty. quick little extra shout out to that glorious halo ring. For more details on these figures, check out part one. Today, we've got five more incredible Incredible figures uh, to show off. They're so good. Where do you want to start? Oh, uh, actually, maybe we'll start with this. Yeah, start with the unpainted stuff, but still mm. equally crafted. This is his custom belt. ODST Looks amazing hip belts. ODST hip belts. Look at that. And you can find these on his Instagram right now. Like, here's the thing. We were talking about this last time. Th the, the 3D printed parts in this community, they just elevate an already great product. And this is a really good example of that. And I know you absolutely love that little, that little ring, ring is so good. <laughs> that is crazy, dude. That is crazy. And is all that camo custom painted yep, as well? Yep. That's not from the ODST is. Hornet Recon? Nope. This oh, is all his. Yeah. His original idea with this was it's the ODST sergeant or captain, I don't know what mm. it is, from the Ark when you first jump off the ship, the mm. Pelicans and you're sniping, that is who this is. And this is an LS3D print head. We're gonna try and highlight as many of these 3D prints as possible. We're gonna miss bits out because there's so many. And this figure is specifically going to Kevin MCX. Yeah, Kevin MCX, I love the guy. Always tagging me in great projects and really cool to hear that he's actually gonna get this one in his hands. I am seething with jealousy. Thank you for giving us the time to review this mm. and waiting mm. to get it. Exactly. Now, what stands out to me the most by far is this gorgeous it's so pretty gorgeous marine look at that dude this exact marine is one of my all-time favorite mcfarlane figures mm -hmm. the way that they've made because like the mcfarlane figure actually has a glassed over visor where you can see its eyes underneath mm -hmm. and the way that they've done that it, it, it's got that glossiness to it that you feel like there is a human being hiding underneath that visor terrified out of his little boots because he just came across this bad boy but that's that's a story for another day this thing is outrageous this military police officer like it's so good that look the at color the, look at the it, wash that, yeah the Man. wash the green look at the wash on that is so pretty oh, and the goodness. amount of pouches yeah he's able to get yeah. shoved onto the front yeah is so good very true very true so this is another helmet from ls 3d prints and another load of pouches these are all are they molded i think they're printed they're printed yeah look at the, yeah the 3d printed absolutely gorgeous it's figure so Pretty. I am in love. This I, I want to keep this one more than anything else. Um, okay, we got two EODs now. This is obviously a fascinating one because this originally uh, was a old articulation yep. release. Uh, this exact EOD came out in a blind bag. I, I was about Series to say. Series seven, maybe. Yeah. Maybe maybe. Series seven blind bags, and it looks almost exactly the same. Except look at that. We got new articulation. Articulation. Mm. But that is basically like a reimagining of an old articulation EOD, and this oh. is our new articulation, like or like our modern yeah take reach. On, yeah, yeah reach slash infinite modern take on the EOD. 
Love the color choices for this one. Love that. I always, I always enjoy like bright reds and yellows that pop out of blacks and dark blues. Mm -hmm. um, another really nice like smoky visor. Quite a similar application to that marine. Uh, oh man. And I think LS3D the D DMR. Yep. And I think the chess piece is green stuff modeled. I don't think it's printed. Really nice shoulder paint. Look at the detail. That is one of the nicest paint applications I've ever seen on an MCX figure, to be honest with you. It is nuts. My mad lad Buster, coming in clutch with these. I don't know, I, I that, that is so clean. Wow, very, very well done. Uh, that's our EOD, best choice of colors there. And the final figure to send off Buster's selection is- His personal. That's his personal? Yep. Oh, fun. Yeah, okay. That's cool that he sent his personal. It's like a little little calling card kind of thing. Um, yeah, gorgeous Firefall helmet with those, like, that's the modifications, isn't it? Like, yep. it's the helmet extensions. Also, take a look at that. That's an infinite emblem, and hopefully... Just his can... favorite emblem? Yeah. I'll show you that later. Yeah, it of course. I'll put it on nuts. the screen. Oh, man. And his favorite weapon, coding. Buster, I am thoroughly impressed. First of all, you produced two exceptional figures for the Halo Championship Series Final, and they'll already be in the hands of the cosplayers now, but you really just went all out in sending us some of your best work, and honestly, camera can't even pick it up. My, my new camera, I, I'm so thankful I have this macro camera yeah. for this showcase, but it can't even pick up the greatness of these figures. So huge shout out to Buster. You have really outdone yourself and it's been so great to see your journey over the last couple of years. You've come a long way. Like we were even talking with G Customs this morning and he was like, oh Buster, yeah, the evolution has been wild. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. It's been fun. Um, so we salute you. And this was part two of our MCX showcase for the Halo Championship Series Final. Join us next time when we're going to look at the works of Riot Customs, including something very, very interesting. This was another video with The Domain and Strandy42, and the EOD is signing off. <laughs>